Hey guys, Clifford here. I used to play a lot of sport in my life. Basketball, football, soccer. I'm a huge fan of soccer and table tennis when I was at college. I used to train four to six hours per day, five, six days per week. That was before I knew the existence of pickleball. Since I haven't picked up my table tennis racket for over two years now. And the only reason I have it in my hand right now because I have to make this video. Pickleball is a paddle sport that combines elements of tennis, badminton, and table tennis. And today's video, we're gonna talk about how similar is pickleball to table tennis and how your background in table tennis can help you improve your game in pickleball. First, let's start with the grip. This is how I hold my racket and table tennis. As you can see, in table tennis, we use a lot of wrist. If I want to hit the back end, to bend my wrist and hit the back end, the same thing. If I want to hit the forehand, I just have to do that to hit the forehand. So now, let's see how I hold my paddle and pickleball. So the thing is, I come like this to the paddle, I go to the back to the paddle. As you can see, this is almost the same grip than my grip that I have in table tennis because I can still hit the backhand like this and I can still hit a forehand like that. Since we are talking about the grip, there's something very important you have to take in consideration. You have to relax your grip. Relax your grip. What I mean by that, when you have a relaxed grip, you see that, see my hand, so I can move the paddle in my hand. In table tennis, the ball fly very fast. So when you're gonna block, if the ball find any tension, when the contact have been made with your paddle, the ball is gonna just go fly away. You have to relax your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder. The same thing here in pickleball. I can move the paddle on my hand so when the ball hit my paddle is the ball not gonna find any tension what's gonna happen my paddle my wrist my elbow and then my shoulder they're gonna create some vibration and that's gonna allow me to block the ball easily and just like move my wrist or my hand or whatever I want and the ball is just gonna follow so this is very important every time you're gonna block and pick a ball you have to take away all the tension you have in your arm and just like block the ball and place it wherever you want next you have to use your whole body in table tennis the power comes from our hips and legs it doesn't come from my arm or my wrist every time you see me doing a toss spin in table tennis i use my whole body same thing in pickleball every time i drive the ball i get low use my body turn my hips and drive the ball even when I'm serving, you're gonna see me going very low using my hips and serve. So this is something definitely you can add to your pickleball if you want your drive to be more effective. Anticipation. Anticipation is very, very important in table tennis. As I say, table tennis is very fast. Because the ball is so fast sometimes, you have to be able to predict where the ball is going even before the player hit the ball because sometimes this is the only way you can get it to do anticipation you need a very good foot to work what does i mean by that you have to move if they try to hit your right foot you take a step back left foot you take a step back you never like got out of guard now imagine i'm thinking they hit in my left foot so i take a step back i got time to think to do my shot correctly as I'm supposed to do. But if I'm trying to hit the ball at the same time the ball is gonna hit my feet, I'm gonna end up like me, so leave the ball too high and it's gonna be a catastrophe. Okay guys, that's it for today. As you can see, pickleball and table tennis are very similar. Hope you like the video and see you next time.